Heller Garcia with Heller Williams. And I'm Meredith Medbeck with Prosperity Home Mortgage. And today we're talking about jumbo loans. Meredith, what is a jumbo loan? So a jumbo loan, Laura, is a loan that is not within the conforming loan limit. Okay. So every single year, um, the, conform, the conforming loan limit is set. So it can vary from year to year based on what the average home valuations are. So in 2021, the, the value that has been assigned to the, that conforming loan limit is $548,250. When a buyer applies for a jumbo loan, what qualifications are you looking for? So there's some really uh, big differences in applying for a jumbo loan versus a conforming loan. Okay. One of the major differences is going to be credit score. So the investors that we work with require minimum 700 credit score. In some cases, some of the products, just depending on down payment and the loan amount, um, would require 720 to 740. So when you're getting a jumbo mortgage, credit is paramount. It's going to be very important um, to have really great credit. In addition to credit, reserves. So we're not talking about, you know, your down payment and your closing costs. Uh, that money is obviously expected at closing. But in addition to those monies, you would need to have typically at a minimum um, for if you just own one property or purchasing just this one property, you're looking at six months of reserves. And that's uh, a reserve is a, a monthly down payment, a monthly mortgage payment. Correct. So you're talking about the principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and if there are like HOA dues. So when you take that total housing payment is what we're talking about, let's say it's $3,000, then you would need six times that amount in reserves. And reserves can be things like, you know, a 401k, it can be an IRA, it can be assets of that nature. So we're not looking for you to have liquidation of those assets, we're just looking for you to have those in addition. The to capability to access. The capability, absolutely. Right. So if I were to get a jumbo loan, how would interest rates compare to just a, a normal loan under 540000 So that's a great question, and it definitely depends on the market at the time, um, because I've been in this business for about 16 years, and I can remember when jumbo um, rates were just so much higher than conforming. Uh, right now, they're actually not much higher than a conforming loan. So I think on an average, what I've been seeing here recently is probably an eighth to a quarter higher, awesome. which really isn't bad. Yeah. Um, so I think it's a great time to actually get a jumbo mortgage for that reason, because um, like I said, at different times in the market, uh, at least over the last 16 years that I've been in it, I remember when they were a percent higher. So okay. I would say right now is a, is a good time to take out a jumbo. Good time to upgrade. Oh. Yes. Absolutely. How are appraisals different on a jumbo loan? So that's another really great question um, when we're talking about jumbo. Um, you know, jumbo investors in some cases will require two appraisals. That's smart. And um, obviously, you know, they want to assess, you know, the risk that's associated to them portfolioing that loan, which means they're putting that loan on their balance sheet. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important that, um, you know, they get an appraisal that's truly valid. And, and so in a lot of cases, they may require two appraisals. In addition to that, the investor reviews the appraisal. So like on a conforming loan, we would be reviewing that appraisal to make sure that it meets all of the requirements. On a jumbo loan, in many cases, we send that appraisal or the two appraisals over to the investor to review it and approve it, which can add a little bit of time to the process, as you can imagine. Um, but another thing with appraisals when it comes to Jumbo is we have to reach out to get quotes on how much is this appraisal going to cost? Because every house is going to be different, different, sizes, yeah. different sizes, number of bedrooms and bathrooms. Um, and so that for an appraiser, you know, they're looking at, okay, how much time is this going to take me? You know, what is this going to cost? So we have to get bids for that and communicate that back to the client uh, to make sure that, you know, they're okay with, you know, the cost of the appraisal. Because, you know, typical 
a conforming appraisal on a single family home is probably about $455. Some of these jumbo appraisals can be a thousand, fifteen hundred. I mean, they, they can be expensive, but it's because of the amount of work um, that it takes for the appraiser to complete it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. For Prosperity Home Mortgage, do you guys have any jumbo loan products or specialties that you do? We do. So we have an investor um, that allows for a minimum 5% down, um, and that is on a loan where it meets certain you know numbers. So it's not on a $4 million loan, but it would be on an $850,000 loan amount. So it will go up to 950, but there are certain requirements as you you know get between 850 and 950. Okay. A lot of those things are going to be dependent upon credit score. So there's some differences between you know the loan amounts with credit. So one's going to require a higher credit score. You know the higher you go up in loan amount. But it's a really great product when you're considering going jumbo mm -hmm. and putting as little down as you possibly can. So okay. if you're within that price point, uh, which a lot of people are, you know, if, it's, if they're upgrading right now, mm -hmm. um, that is a great option for them. And a lot of people are wanting to keep their money in the market mm -hmm. because rates are very, very low. It, it's definitely a product to look at to be able to put a 5% down and still do a jump up. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your knowledge today, Meredith. Thank you, Laura. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out.